हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो नाउ वील स्टडी द कंपेरिजन ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन विद आयरलैंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन प्रीवियसली वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट कंपेरिजन ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन विद जापान विद रशिया विद यू एस विद यू के विद फ्रेंच विद जर्मनी विद साउथ अफ्रीका विद ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड नॉट टाइम टू स्टडी आयरलैंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो वाट आर दी सिमिलैरिटीज बहुत दी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन आर ब्रिटन सो आई एल टेल यू वन थिंग आयरलैंड एज वेल एज इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन आर ब्रिटन ओनली इफ यू कैन इफ इफ आई एल टेल यू दैट ओनली यू के और एंड इज़राइल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन आर अनरिटन इन फॉर्म सो दे विल फॉलो दी पार्लियामेंट्री प्रोसीजर्स कन्वेंशन स्टैचूट्स बाय लॉज ऑर्डर्स सो दे आर दी यू नो सोर्स ऑफ अथॉरिटी फॉर दी गवर्नमेंट बट अदर देन इज़राइल एंड यू के ऑलमोस्ट ऑल दी कंट्रीज ऑफ दी वर्ल्ड हैव रिटर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन लाइक इंडिया बट इज नॉट दैट मच वाइड स्प्रेड और दैट मच यू नो दैट एवरी थिंग इज रिटर्न इन इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बट इन आयरलैंड इट एवरी थिंग इज नॉट रिटर्न बट डेफिनेटली इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ रिटर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज वेरी यू नो वास्ट वेरी यू नो एवरी माइन्यू डिटेल्स ऑफ दी एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एज इन मैंशन इन दी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इट सेल्फ type of political system both the countries have the parliamentary system so parliament is there uh, where the executive you know uh, who, where executive is the member of the legislature and executive here in both the countries are the pm prime minister head of the government prime minister as i have told you prime minister is the head of the government both the countries legislative setup both have two houses of parliament so bicameralism in both the countries so similar in india as well as in ireland so uh, ireland also has parliamentary system so parliament you know the laws have been uh, framed by or the uh, laws have been formed by the parliament and after uh, the laws are uh, you know formed uh, a bill has been you know passed by the parliament it has become into a law uh, only when the president give its assent to that bill then only it become a law Uh, similarities directive so you already know that uh, we have borrowed three features from ireland one is dpsp so both both have dpsp another method of election of president which is you know proportional representation with single transferable vote similar and nomination of members to rajya sabha you already know that 12 members are nominated by the indian president to the rajya sabha in similarly in ireland also uh, some members are nominated to you know their upper house by the president so uh, in both the countries it is the same procedure that the nomination of members to the rajya sabha is same judiciary supreme court as the apex of the judiciary in both the countries supreme court is there uh, which is at the you know at the top who will decide all the cases final you know final uh, appellate authority uh, independent judiciary so both the countries have independent judiciary uh, separation of powers are there between executive legislature and judiciary similar in both the countries judiciary independence is there uh, separation of powers are there judicial review is also there means by means of judicial review uh, judiciary you know can declare a law null and void if it is inconsistent with the with the uh, laws framed by the uh, parliament separation of powers uh, uh, and judicial review similar type of system so sovereign states both the countries are sovereign sovereign means they can decide on their own they are you know independent to decide take their own actions and decisions uh, regulating their own country democracy is there in both the countries that is the governance of the people for the people and by the people and real executive in both the countries is pm while the president is the uh, nominated authority or you can say uh, a de jure authority but de facto is prime minister with just a nominal head differences are there so the, some smaller differences are there so here the election of president method of election is same but here the election uh, president is elected by the you know the member of parliament both the both the members of parliament both the member members of both the houses and the legislative assembly members while in ireland uh, ireland it is direct uh, election that is uh, a president is directly elected by the people term of president here 5 years there 7 years fundamental rights we have the entire widespread or you know very vast part 3 which is which define the scope of fundamental rights enjoyed by the citizens of india while in parliament uh, only certain selected fundamental rights are there not a vast 
you know as uh, part is there which has been con which has been you know solely um, defined for uh, defined in the constitution but some certain selected fundamental rights have been provided have been given security to the uh, people by the constitution here the scope of dpsp uh, in india it is social justice uh, economic foreign policy related administrative related and many more are there mainly welfare social welfare people welfare but in ireland is mo mostly related to economic policies are there that means ki dpsp uh, in dpsp only those you know only those uh, instrument of instructions are there uh, which define the economic policies of the government or what a government has to you know uh, follow or uh, draft an economic policy while making economic economic policy what government has to do or government has to follow that directive principle so mostly directive principles are related to economic policies while in india it is related to mo mostly it is related to social welfare of the people so these are the major uh, similarities and differences between the indian and irish constitution so mota mota taur pe aap ye samajh lijiye ki indian aur irish constitution kafi tak same hai yahan pe sovereign डेमोक्रेटिक रिपब्लिक है और वो भी सोवरन डेमोक्रेटिक रिपब्लिक है आयरलैंड मोटे मोटे तौर पे वहाँ भी प्रेसिडेंट प्राइम मिनिस्टर होते हैं प्रेसिडेंट नॉमिनल हेड और रियल हेड इज प्राइम मिनिस्टर यहाँ भी सेम ही है बट छुटपुट छुटपुट डिफ्रेंसिज है मोस्टली इंडियन एंड आयरिश कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन आर सेम बट यहाँ फंडामेंटल राइट्स बहुत ही यू नो एक्सप्लिसिटी डिफाइंड और बहुत ही वास्ट हैं बट वहाँ पर इस टाइप से डिफिनीशन नहीं है सो so, ये एक मेजर डिफरेंस है जो आपको पता होना चाहिए इन इंडिया एंड आयरलैंड so in the next lecture we'll study the other uh, the rest of the country's constitution with india uh, i think we'll study the chinese constitution first and then we'll study the sark country's constitution sark means nepal you know bhutan maldi uh, then maldives then sri lanka pakistan we'll study these consti country's constitution and compare it with india so till uh, till then wait for my next lecture and kindly subscribe to my channel and like my lecture if you if uh, if you think it is it it, it is deserved uh, deserving to be liked and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you so much